Well, it's, I think it's with the Internet of Things and, and using devices and actuators and all sorts of things and people using what we call cyber physical social systems where we have our software interacting with the real world and interacting with social media where people are putting out their personal information and collecting information about their body and their health. Uh, we're going to see AI techniques be used in just about everything. And we're going to see a big advance in the techniques we're using. But they'll be subtle. It won't be necessarily that it becomes, oh, this huge thinking machine. But the, the aspects of AI are going to be used in all sorts of different areas in our lives. Well, certainly a lot of people are showing concern about jobs and I think it's going to be something like when the Industrial Revolution happened, people thought there were going to be no jobs for people anymore because everything would be automated. But in fact, that didn't happen. It's just the jobs changed. So the profile of the job changed. So a number of people are saying there are jobs that haven't been created yet and that we'll have these in the future. And so certain professions will go away, but they won't go away overnight. And certain professions will have to change and adapt. knowing how to program and how to program well and how to apply techniques ethically, sensibly, and to maintain software well, because software is going to be the key element in anything we do with AI. It's important that you understand how software is to be developed reliably and maintained reliably. And a lot of people don't know that. They think we can just write an app in our bedrooms and that's going to be a great success. And some are, but many aren't. Well, I'd love, to, I'd love to think that Stephen Hawking didn't say what he was quoted as saying because I think it's just absolutely absurd. And certainly we have to be careful that we apply any technique that we have sensibly and ethically and, and that we maintain our standards. But to think that something is going to come along that devours us and destroys us is, is I think, ridiculous. But if we do it appropriately, we can make great advances because of the things we're doing now in AI and related areas. Well, absolutely. Standardization is absolutely essential because we're going to be having so many things communicating with so many other things. It's going to be absolutely essential. So standards bodies have a huge role to play. They can also emphasize how we can and cannot do things. But I don't think we want to be a nanny state and we want to have too much control over what people can and cannot do. There'll always be the bad guy out there who wants to do something wrong and he won't be stopped by standards or associations or regulations. And um, so we have to consider that. But if we apply things sensibly, I think we can make great advances. Well, I, I, I always warn people that AI has completely been overhyped since, since day one. Um, if you read Herb Simon's memoirs, he says that in 1950 he went into his classroom and told his students, over the weekend I invented a computer that thinks. And then he says afterwards, you know, I, I don't believe I ever said that, but I, so many people told me I did, I must have. So we've made these hyperbole in the past. I don't want to do that for the future. But I think there's a big advance coming along, but it'll be in baby steps. I wouldn't like to predict the date when it's actually going to happen. But there are some, some big advances coming down the line.